quick side note, um, if you guys are interested in the same kind of printers, you can go ahead and um, send me an email. I'll send it to my connect at uh, G-Tech and uh, they'll take care of the sales for you. You get all the same prices as listed on eBay for uh, the same printer. The only difference is I get a small commission to help provide um, more materials to do more 3D printing and uh, videos. So mainly it's my time that uh, I'm trying to find money for because if I dedicate too much time here instead of doing work, I can't pay my bills. <laughs> so I've also started, uh, I, got, I guess I got ads on YouTube now. And uh, it's pretty cool. So thank you for all the new subscribers. Even though it's only been like a month and I already got 13. Not bad for just starting. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you to the person who's uh, already sent me info on purchasing one of the uh, Prusa Pro i3Bs. Excuse me, Prusa i3 Pro B. And the same setup where they're going to have a head set up for a PLA ABS as, as well as five materials. And you can have the option of uh, picking out the dual print headboard, ramps, or the Sanguina Lulu board if you're just interested in swapping heads instead of uh, or having a backup if you want to do the dual print. The Sanguina Lulu board will not support a dual head. Uh, printer. It just can't have it. The heat. There's no heat sinks on the transistor themselves. If you beefed up the board a little bit with just some basic heat sinks and cooling, uh, real fancy if you could just dip it in liquid nitrogen, you could run another extruder off the same jacks as long as uh, this power supply could handle it. The main thing is uh, this is a 30 watt heater. 30 watts is about 2 amps, uh, 2.6 amps I think, for uh, power consumption, as well as you're going to be running about an amp to 2 amps for just this stepper motor because this is a, a high torque stepper motor and uh, different filaments can uh, be a little trickier to handle. Some require more strength than others as far as pushing into uh, the filament into the nozzle. Retraction isn't as much. It does require some force. So uh, this is just a quick little update as you can see I'm printing outstanding parts right now.